Hello po at kamusta po tayong lahat? Paano ba natin babasahin ang ating mga Bible? Lalo po tayong mga katoliko. Kung minsan po marami sa atin ay laging nakadisplay ang Bible sa mga altar o nasa drawer, nasa bookshelves. Kunin man po natin ang ating mga Bibles. Huwag po kayo matatakot pag kinuha natin ang Bible natin ha. Hindi po tayo masusunog. Bible po yan. At syempre pag kinuha po natin ang ating mga Bibles, minsan nakakagulat, di ba? Kasi ang kapal, nakaka-intimidate. Kung minsan hindi natin alam po saan tayo magsisimu na magbasa. Well, usually what we do is we go to the front page and we start reading from the front page uh, hindi naman po mali yun, pero uh, Bible po ito maganda po, let's try reading first the life of Jesus and that's the New Testament the four Gospels Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in my experience, it's better or let's say it's nice to start with the Gospel of St. Mark kasi ito po yung pinakamaikli, 16 chapters and medyo parang simplified ang pag-pronounce or pag-proclaim rather ng Gospel of St. Mark after reading the Gospel of St. Mark we can go to St. Luke then Matthew, then John and then continue reading the New Testament then, pagkatapos, you can go to the Old Testament and start reading from Genesis and finish the entire Old Testament. Or you can read first the Psalms and the Proverbs, then go to Genesis and then finish the entire Old Testament. At syempre, bilang isang Katoliko, kung maganda po ay meron din po tayong tinatawag na Catechism of the Catholic Church. Mura na naman po ito. And if you want to go deeper into studies, importante rin po meron tayong tinatawag na Bible Dictionary or Dictionary of the Bible. Bakit po? Because dito po uh, it explains the definition of certain terms in the Bible. Ngayon kung talagang gusto mo pang lumalim, maganda po ay meron din po tayong tinatawag na Bible Commentary. Any commentary will do. Actually, medyo mahal na po ito. Kung may budget po tayo, pwede tayong bumili nito. Of course, bago po tayo magbasa ng Bible, let's pray. Uh, and kung meron po tayong mga hindi na iintindihan ng mga scripture passages, let's ask our pastors, our church leaders, our priests, yung mga theologians, or the elders of the church. Amen po? Importante, let's try to read the Bible every day and you can do that by downloading also a daily gospel reading application on your cell phones. Masahin po natin araw-araw yan. So, God bless po sa atin lahat.